Hello, hello, and welcome back to Hitman. And in this series, we are, will go back to where it all started. And this time round, we will focus on completing as many of the challenges as we can on each and every one of the primary Hitman targets. With maybe a few interesting bonus kills on the way. Today we are in Haven Island for the Target Ahoy Challenge which entails eliminating all of our targets with a sniping rifle from the radio tower. Now there's no chance of a silent assassin for this so we will be embracing the John Wick approach. So for today's challenge we will be bringing with us an explosive phone stored up at the shark hut a silenced pistol, our ever trusty lockpick and a sniping rifle in a briefcase everything else will be available on the map so with all of that said let's get reacquainted with our target shall we Tyson Williams, founder and rumoured tyrannical CEO of Haven Ludmilla Vitrova, a former confidence artist hired by Williams to serve as a client recruiter and handler and Stephen Bradley technical wizard and the brains behind Haven's proprietary software platform. So right from the start and off the bat uh, we're gonna make this a lot quicker and easier than we really should be. And this is out of line with most of the walkthrough videos so we're just going to go and quickly retrieve our explosive phone. This is much more in line with how I generally play this game. I do have quite a high kill count. So we're going to retrieve our explosive phone from the shark hut and we are now going to make our way over to the spa area. Now everything I do up to and including climbing the radio tower can be done as a silent assassin. But as I mentioned, because we're going to lose the Silent Assassin when we start sniping our targets, we may as well get there as quickly as we can. So we're going to make our way down the right hand side of the spa, which is behind the reception area. And we're just going to wait for the spa attendant there to leave. And when he does, we're then going to shoot the guard who sits at the bottom of the stairs there in the head so you could just stand up on the top of the stairs wait for the guard to sit down and then render him unconscious with your briefcase drag him in the bushes and then take his outfit and maintain your silent assassin rating but we didn't do that so we're then going to make our way around the spa building. Once you get to the other side, just be aware of the patrolling enforcer. Don't worry about the cameras. We're going to lockpick our way through the gate to the radio tower. Get spotted by a camera again. Don't forget to smile. Uh, at this point, we would, uh, if we were maintaining our silent assassin rating, we would wait for the gentleman on the right there to leave before we open the door and take out the surveillance system. Uh, because we are embracing the John Wick approach, we're going to do things slightly differently. And we're just going to march straight inside and we're going to shoot the guard in the head, take out the surveillance system, not that that really matters. And then we're going to wait in the closet provided. Now eventually the patrolling guard will return, see his dead friend, go over to offer him support and we can then exit the cabinet and shoot him in the head. We're then going to select our exploding phone and we're going to make our way back out to the rear of the building here and we're just going to throw our exploding phone up onto the roof and make our way around to the stairs. Now one of the two guards upstairs will collect that. Uh, hopefully it's the enforcer and f luckily for me it is the enforcer. Again you can just sneak past these guys, it is not very difficult. But I figured waste not, want not. So once the enforcer has picked up the phone 
we're then going to detonate the phone. I think we blew him clean out of the area there. I think he landed on the outside of the fence. So we're just going to wait here now for the panic to calm down and the body clear up to begin. And that's all of the enforcers in the area dealt with. So we can now casually make our way up onto the roof, take out our sniping rifle and make our way up the radio tower. Now up here is where things, if you are trying to maintain some semblance of a straightforward assassin run, uh, could spoil you depending on where you take your targets out and how quickly you move or not move in this instance. So you want to take your shot nice and quick and then just wait. I actually missed, so I'm going to do that again. Two targets remaining. So, that's Stephen Bradley taken care of. Well done. So we're going to move on to Tyson, who is currently sitting on the can. And this will get me the straight shot challenge. Tyson Williams eliminated. Excellent work, 47. Just one more target to go. So, just Ludmilla remaining. And we're going to take her out at the back of the restaurant area here. You do get a numerous opportunities to take each of your targets. But this will do for me. Good work, 47. Ludmilla Vitrova has been permanently retired. So if, unlike me, you've had to do a fair bit of waiting around, upon exiting the radio tower, there could be numerous guards looking to kill you. So just be aware of that. That is why I technically blew up the two guys on the roof. So they would not be the first line of defense while I'm coming down the ladder. And then all that's left for us to do is to make good our escape and I've headed for the main boat exit. So there we go, one more challenge taken care of and having a little bit of fun along the way. I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video.